Favourite parkour video and why? This is hard because I don't really watch many parkour videos. What other hobbies slash creative outlets do you have? Well, I love writing um, and I've actually written a short book like nearly two years ago now. Um, but yeah, I love writing um, and I think I might do more of that going into the future. And I love art and stuff, but I don't have like many major other creative outlets apart from like video editing and stuff and writing. Favourite parkour video and why? This is hard because I don't really watch many parkour videos. Um, I used to a lot, but I kind of just, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy watching <laughs> like parkour videos as much as I used to. Maybe it sounds a bit self-centred, but um, my own parkour videos? <laughs> I mean, I get like a, a very like personal joy out of watching my own videos, obviously, as like a lot of people do. Um, but favourite parkour video? I know I definitely have like loads of ones that I like. Like I used to love watching the Witchell Brothers training videos, Eric Moore's videos, they were banging back in the day, like 24 days, one pair of shorts or something like that. That was good. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what are your aspirations for your career in parkour? I don't know if you would call it going forward a career, but um, I definitely want to continue training as much as I can, um, just because I can do it um, and I find it really fun when I do it. Um, and it's just great to be able to keep that movement up as you progress throughout your life. So I think, yeah, just tr training as much as I can and sort of trying to make sure that I don't degress um, in my ability. So sort of always being able to do things and maybe going back to challenges that I've done and be like, oh yeah, maybe I could do that still. Um, and yeah, just remaining like with the love for it. One, two, three, four. Number four. Your favourite country for training and why? Um, I love, I love Portugal um, and I love America. America was sick, but I guess that's just because like the whole trip was like when I went there, just the whole time was just amazing there. Um, favourite country to train and why? I'm just going to say England because I've trained there the most and I've had the best times in England, so yeah. Do you consider yourself to be a professional at what you do? Um, no, not anymore. Uh, yeah, not anymore, because I don't make like consistent and a lot of money out of parkour. Um, but yeah, yeah, I guess not. One, two, three, four, five, six. What are you listening to music at the moment? So, I mean, I'm not hugely organised with my Spotify. I just like browse like um, music radios of songs that I like and stuff and then just like like videos into my liked songs. And then occasionally if I want to add them to like little playlists that I have that have different genres, I will. Um, but at the moment I've been listening to a lot of AK Patterson, um, really passionate and lovely music. Um, a local girl from London and yeah there's a few I, I mean I can't really I don't know if I can remember like their names but like I'm listening to songs just whatever makes me feel good all right fuck off <laughs> I'll send you my Spotify just ask me on Instagram and you can see are you happy Yes, I am happy. I'm very happy. Um, 
Yeah, I'm happy. Why? Um, because... Because I'm content with with who I am as a person and I am happy with various areas of my life and yeah, I just feel safe and loved and yeah, yeah. What do you hate? Um, Um, hate's a very strong word, and I don't really like to say I hate anything, but I guess there are things that happen in this world that are a big shame. Um, I hate injustices around the world and lies, um, and decisions that are being made around the world which ultimately aren't for the full betterment for the people. Um, yeah, injustices, I guess. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more. What makes you different? Um, hmm. I don't really know, like, because I don't know everyone around me, so I don't know if they like the same things or, like, uh, if they... Because you see everybody's personality, but you don't know like the different scales to and levels to their personality. Um, and there are traits that I have, which I think potentially, like a majority of other, of other people might not have as much, um, but they might as well. So I don't know, everyone's different. One more. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? So I would be um, 30. Um, I see myself knowing what it is, what my purpose is in the world and how, what am I doing um, with my brain and my hands to best serve the world. Hopefully be somewhere in the world where I can live in a closer vicinity to my brother and my brother can live in a closer vicinity to my whole family. So my whole family is a bit more closer together. Yeah, so doing, doing good work for the world, for the betterment of humanity. I don't know if I'll be living in a house. I want to get a van eventually and travel around and, and um, but maybe I will have 10 years, yeah, I'll, I'll have a house. Just, I don't know, maybe a place, like a place that I am just settled and set set in stone and a lovely garden and a lovely wife or girlfriend and just like a nice, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll never know, I guess, we'll see. Hmm, done. Yeah, go on. Oh, we good now. Yeah. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. You've been here the whole time. What? You work here.